Man's dream to discover life in space is soon prone to turn into a reality. More than 100,000 individuals have applied for a one-way trip to Mars as a part of the $6 billion project that aspires to colonize the Red Planet beginning in 2022. So you want to live on Mars? Maybe it's the rough territory, excellent scenery that allures you. On the other hand, possibly you're simply a crazy person who wants to live in a dead, desolate no-man's land. Whatever your reasons may be, there are a couple of things you should know before you decide to live on Mars. To know all about this, make sure you watch the complete video. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon for more interesting videos like this. How are the living conditions on Mars? Is it like Earth? All things considered, not actually. Notwithstanding expensive campaigns being arranged, we don't know everything convincingly about existence on Mars. The outer layer of Mars is supposed to be the nearest to Earth when compared with different planets, yet it'll be an extremely brutal spot to live. The temperature can go as low as negative 67 degrees Celsius, so don't forget to pack your winter clothes. Mars likewise has the biggest residue storms in the planetary group. Is there existing life on Mars? No decisive verification of life on Mars is yet to be found, and the logical world is obviously separated on the issue. Most researchers trust it as microorganisms. However, the disclosure of brutal conditions on the outer layer of Mars appears to make the presence of life exceptionally far-fetched. At a European Space Organization meeting in 2005, 75% of researchers said they accepted that life once existed on Mars, while 25% said they accept life right now exists there. As indicated by a Disclosure Channel highlight, a gathering of researchers in Indiana are developing little plants in Mars-like soil in a Martian climate test system to decide if it would be feasible for space travelers investigating Mars to develop nursery plants on the Red Planet as a food source. Well, this discussion is from 2005, and things have changed a lot. Now, the world is planning to go to Mars and live there. Following are the things you should know before you plan a trip to Mars. Number 1. Remaining warm Since it's farther away from the Sun than Earth, Mars is freezing. Daylight and warmth arriving at the red planet are not as much as what Earth gets. Likewise, the Martian climate isn't pretty much as thick as Earth's environment which keeps our planet warm. Consider what it resembles to remain close to Mars' equator, where daylight hits more straightforwardly than at higher scopes. Around early afternoon, that would feel like a winter day in northern US at 32 degree Fahrenheit. Around evening time, that equivalent spot could arrive at temperatures of negative 284 degree Fahrenheit, which is multiple times colder than Antarctica. Living on Mars will require exceptional living spaces that can give warm temperatures and breathable air. Number 2. Discovering Water There is proof of water on Mars soil and air and space explorers might have the possibility to extract it. Researchers have taken a gander at perchlorate, a sort of salt that contains the particle CiO4 and is available all over Mars. Perchlorate drains up water out of the air, and space travelers could separate the water present in Mars perchlorate. Also said that the test found that Martian has a considerable amount of ice in it, around 35 liters for every cubic meter. You should simply scoop it up, heat it, and strain out the water. When you have a decent inventory, a straightforward refinery will permit you to reuse it again and again. Number 3. Cultivating Food Space explorers could utilize Mars' regular assets to develop food. Mars' climate comprises generally carbon dioxide, a fundamental gas for plant endurance, and Martian soil has the fundamental supplements plants need to endure. But since the accessibility of these supplements might differ contingent upon where astronauts land, the soil might be treated. Plants will likewise be developed inside conditions with passable temperatures. Number 4. Obstructing Radiation Space is a brutal climate with perilously high energy radiation, particularly from the Sun. We have been shielded from the greater part of this radiation because of our planet's climate and attractive field, known as the magnetosphere. However, Mars is no magnetosphere, and its climate is more than 100 times slimmer than Earth's air. The excursion to Mars and the stay on Mars will mean broadened radiation openness. Astronauts will require extraordinary environments, suits, and machines 
that'll shield them from radiation, which in any case could cause diseases. The most straightforward approach to do that is to cover your base in Martian sand and shakes. They're not actually hard to find, so you can simply bank the heap further and more profound until it's impending enough. Number 5. You will require a pressure vessel. Mars's air pressure is short of what 1% of Earth's surface, so essentially, it's nothing. Being on the outer layer of Mars is practically equivalent to being in profound space. You better bring a pleasant solid holder to hold air in. Coincidentally, this will be your home for eternity, so attempt to make it as large as possible. Number 6. You will require oxygen. You likely plan to inhale during your visit, so you'll have to have something in that pressure vessel. Luckily, you can get this from Mars itself. The atmosphere is extremely dainty. However, it's available and it's for the most part carbon dioxide. There are bunches of approaches to take the carbon off carbon dioxide and free oxygen. You can have complex mechanical oxygen generators, or you can simply develop a few plants. Number 7. You will require food. Bad joke alert! Simply eat Martians. They taste like chicken. Goodness, come on! Okay, okay. Food is the one thing you need that can't be found in Bounty on Mars. You'll need to develop it yourself. Yet, this is your lucky day since Mars is a decent spot for a greenhouse. The day-night cycle is practically indistinguishable from Earth's which Earth plants develop to advance for. Furthermore, the all-out sun-oriented energy hitting the surface is sufficient for their requirements. In any case, you can't simply develop plants on the freezing closed vacuum surface. You'll require a tension holder for them also. Also, that one may just be quite huge. Simply consider how much food you eat in a year and envision how much space it takes to develop it. Expectation, you like potatoes. They're the best calorie yield per land region. Number 8. You will require energy. Anyway, you set things up, it'll not be an independent framework. In addition to other things, you'll need to manage to warm your home and greenhouse. Mars's normal day-by-day -day temperature is negative 50 degrees Celsius or negative 58 degrees Fahrenheit, so it'll be a ceaseless energy channel to keep warm. Also, the other life emotionally supportive networks, most strikingly your oxygenator. What's more, in case you're thinking your greenhouse will keep the climate in balance, reconsider. A biosphere is unreasonably dangerous on this scale. Number 9. You will require motivation to be there. Why make a special effort to hazard your life? Would you like to concentrate on the actual world? Start your human advancement. Take advantage of nearby assets for benefit. Make a base with a major passing beam so you can address the UN while wearing an unfavorable cover and request delivery. Whatever your objective is, you better have it essentially characterized and you better truly would not joke about this. Since eventually, Mars is a cruel, risky spot and if something turns out badly, you'll not expect salvage. Whatever your explanation is, everything will work out for the best. What are the possible health hazards of living on Mars? Like other space voyages, zero gravity represents the greatest danger for individuals. Experts feel artificial gravity will be necessary for the crew whenever possible during the Mars mission. The physical and mental being of an individual can be affected. Improper blood circulation, space sickness, weak immune system, backaches, muscle loss, and radiation are some of the physical problems one will face. Psychological issues range from wretchedness, relation contentions, uneasiness, sleep deprivation, and even psychosis. So this was from our side. Comment down below and let us know what you think of the video and like and share with your friends. Also, tell us would you like to go to Mars if given a chance and who would be the person you want to be with on this trip. And lastly, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting content.